wake up, 4.30. I like the silence and the peace of the morning, so I get up kind of extra early just to be able to make my breakfast. It's porridge, eggs, Tabasco sauce, and my Americano. I sleep three hours a night, and I'm still excited every morning for the day and about what we're trying to go and grab. All right. It takes about 45 minutes. Go from my flat to the studio, and it usually kind of gets me into the right mindset to kind of deal with the day. Forty-five minute drives are actually like times where I can get on the phone, I can work, I can be writing. I would buy that they are blocking the traffic, but then also at the same time, the finish line must be blocking the traffic. To be able to be shooting sometimes three units on three parts of the world at the exact same time takes a lot of coordination, it takes a lot of trust, it takes a lot of communication. We got a lot of pieces today that we're trying to match to uh... Our Tbilisi uh, action sequence. So, yeah. yeah, I need some sun. I know for me and for our crew and everybody is, is we're trying to make sure every dollar is being put on screen. And so strategically, it, it makes for a huge challenge. Well, I think to set up Letty and those guys, it might be good. So okay. good. I have my little box, and there's another person whose box is costumes. Somebody else might be transportation. And each of those realms is probably really stressful, you know, to be in, because you still have to make all these decisions. But what I see in his job, the director, is everything in the end filters through you. You definitely want to have foreground, and you want to counter. Yeah. Right? OK. But it's really about the frame. All right. OK. But cool. Thanks. He is responsible for every bit of dialogue or scene script, and that's one part of his day. Um, do you want him to say... And then I see this costume person running, and he has to give notes on the costume, and then he has to give notes to the art department, and then, like, the macro picture, the studio has a budget and a timeline. There's promotion. What's the trailer going to be? How do you convey your intentions to the actor? Like, everything. So you, when you hear a story about him going to sleep at 12.30 and waking up at 2.30, you know what? Like, we're at each, each of our stressful box. He's got them all to handle. Cut. 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 We go in. Who gets it? The parents are going. Production is fun because, like, even though it's hard hours, if you have the right group of people, nothing beats it. You're not alone, you know? You can't make a movie by yourself. I knew Justin was going to direct Fast 9. I like to support a director that's invested in the greater mythology. And at this moment, it, you just saw Jacob. It's confirmed. Everything's confirmed. You know what's there's a dark cloud. Justin is a madman who does not take any breaks. I'm gonna go check on uh, the cut. He's literally editing and splicing this movie. That is Justin to editorial. As we're shooting it, that makes him in the elite of directors that I've ever worked with and ever heard of. Before he lands, once he lands, he's on the other side, right? Oh, Sean shouldn't anticipate. Hold on. I'm, I'm not the easiest guy to work with, and I also acknowledge that I do things a little differently, but I, I feel like sometimes the crew and the culture is something that you earn. And this is an amazing group of people. I mean, they're at the top of their profession. One more, Sean. I think let's not anticipate. So let's do one more when we do it on the day. Let's not anticipate this because they're going to be here. So yeah, so we're going to be down and go up with them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Yep. Cool. Thanks. For us to be able to get together and talk and to be able to be cohesive so that when people watch the film, they feel like it's all one voice. And that's something that I take a lot of pride in and I give the crew all the credit for, for making it happen. Thank you guys so much. Yeah! Hi guys, everybody had a great week. That's a wrap. Yes! It's so rare in any career to be able to have shared journeys with people that you started with. I think back to when we were first starting our career, both of us, we didn't have any money. We really didn't come from a family that was established in Hollywood. We just had this common dream of being storytellers. You know, I just feel very lucky that I get to, you know, share another movie with a friend. 
You wanted it not to be recognized, right? What Justin will never know, maybe he'll know it after he see this, but Justin will never know that at this point in my life, in the fast universe, what we ultimately do on camera is for the sake of the audience. The things that me and Justin talk about off camera mean so much to me. And then whatever the outcome of our talks and how it shows up on camera, that's the compliment. It's not what I'm actually doing on camera. It's the things that we talk about and work through and establish before we put it on camera that makes what we put on camera mean that much more. That was great, I built that. I think this is our fifth movie together. And he literally has sayings that he can tell me. And I'm like, okay, got it. Will do, will do. He's a massively successful director, but he still is the sweetest, kindest, and cares the most about the integrity of the film and what it means. Every time we make one of these films, it's at least two years of, of my life. So it means a lot to be able to go on these journeys with people that I trust, that I enjoy working with. We have to have the same work ethic and to be able to really kind of be there for each other. Sometimes, you know, on holidays, on weekends for sure, we're always kind of working together. We're having meals together. We're growing older together. This is so amazing. It is something that through time, I take a lot of pride in who's around me, who is on this project. It is something that you earn. You, you could say all you want about, you want to make a great movie, but until you actually go in the trenches and earn that relationship, it really is nothing until you do it. This is definitely, this is definitely the highlight of my career. But... <laughs> Sorry in advance that you're gonna have to be freezing your ass. Justin's cool, man. He's got a lot of skin in the game. There's a rig that we're gonna be spinning you guys, 360. Oh, okay. And oh, right on. Yeah. He's really not holding back <laughs> when it comes to the action. It's on steroids. Like, how are we gonna get Michelle up there on a long lens and then get her again? Like, <laughs> months of discussion on that. I'm happy it's in the hands of somebody who cares. The, just the stress of trying to get the day is the main thing. You know, here in the UK, I love kind of their system because it's a 10 hour straight day, walking lunch, we work through it. I feel like it's more efficient. We're done for a day, huh? We can go work out. I think one of my great finds for me on this shoe is the idea that I can actually go work out after a long, long day and very little sleep. Let's get warmed up. Good. For the audience, there's always this perception that if you're a real filmmaker, and drive. Oh, yeah, there we go. You get everything, you know everything, and you finish it, and you shoot it, and it's perfect. Three, two, one, and tie. But I will take every second. I will continue to write after we wrap production. I will keep writing as we edit. I'll keep tweaking until they take the film away from me. The long lens, looking back to LA, like that's, you know, you want to feature the, I think part of going to Fort Street Bridge is to really feature the, you know, the LA and the LA River. By the time we get, you know, get home, I can go in the cutting room. I make sure the cutting room is literally 20 feet from this flat, so we're close. What up, yo? Once I get in here, then I can do that. I can have everything on my computer. Even, even if, he, if uh, the fight is, he, he got, he came in with the arm and he yeah. pulled him back. Luckily, we're about two weeks from wrapping here. Um, it feels like it's a never ending process, but you have to keep at it. And it's still very stressful. It's a big task. Um, it's very ambitious, but it's important that, you know, if I'm gonna put in this kind of work, it has to be a kind of process that I'm leading. I choose to sleep three hours, you know? If this process is not something that I choose and the people around me are, are not the right people, then I don't think I would be able to survive. All right, man. Good night. <laughs>